All right. So, I got COVID. Hmm. Um, today is the 21st of January, 2022. And I'm going to read you my COVID experience so far. Um, so, firstly, I want to say that I've been in isolation for seven days. No, sorry. I've, today's been nearly 14 days in isolation. It's been shit house. The first seven days was when Di got it, and then I got it, so it was another seven days. However, due to some unknown reason, Di's been able to go out while I've been in isolation. She's just gone to work and shit, but yeah, she's been able to. So anyway... Um, I should say that the government are giving us $750 a week for government assistance if you catch COVID. Um, it's not great, but it's better than most companies, better than most countries and whatnot. So I'm not complaining too much. All right. So, um, vast majority of my family have gotten it, um, Don't ask us how, but mum and Warren, her partner Warren, and then dad and his wife Gail, they haven't gotten it yet. Um, but the people that have, so we'll start with Di. My, my wife Di, she was the first one to catch it. Um, we don't know where or how. We thought she might have gotten it from someone at work, but the more that we're starting to learn about this and the more that we've learnt and the more the experiences of other people in our family have shown it, we really, we really don't think so. We think she may have just picked it up somewhere. But anyway, so yeah, she started with it. Then her mum got it. Um, and then, which mind you, I've got to say, I was in Goulburn during all this as well, so... Um, yeah, so first die, then a mum, and then my daughter-in-law, Caitlin, and my grandson for the fuss, or Harrison, but he's the fusser, he got, they both got it, um, then my stepson, Brendan, he got it, although it's highly unlikely that he got it from Caitlin and fuss, he probably picked it up down at the Summer Nats in Canberra, I think it's in Canberra, he probably picked it up down there, so... Um, and then last but not least was me. Um, so yeah. Now, I do also have to say that my family out in Singleton have had it going through the family. Um, so the first one was my oldest nephew, Xavier. He got it. Um, well, I was blood nephew. I've got older nephews, but the oldest nephew through blood. He got it first. Then Cooper, his little brother, got it. Then, at the, around the same time, my older brother and youngest niece got it, Harley and Millie. They both got it roughly the same time. My sister-in-law, Prue, is the only one to have not gotten it yet, but it's likely she is starting to show symptoms and come down with it now. So, she's next in line. Um, now, next, I've got to break down of my symptoms and how it's affected me personally. So... I found it to be a cross between the cold and the flu. It's been worse than the cold, the common cold or rhinovirus, but it's been better than the flu or influenza. That's, yeah, it's been a cross between the two. Same as the symptoms they've shared has been, yeah, that's, this, this is new, this is new. But anyway, so day one, I was fine up until approximately 6 p.m., which was last Friday night, so a week ago, last Friday night. Um, then about 6 p.m., I just went, Doosh! so I got um, cold and heat flushes, so kick the blanket off, put the blanket back on, kick the blanket off. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Um... It was a little difficult to breathe from time to time. Like, I couldn't catch a full breath of fresh air like I normally could. Um, could as much as I can. Um, and, yeah, my sleeping just went out the window. Just out the window. Like, yeah. Um, so then day two, I went and did a PCR test because those rat tests are fucking shit house. 
like they are shit house, but that's that's a whole other ball game. I have to write that down so that I can remember to talk about that briefly at the end. Um, no, I slept all day. I mean, I got up and went to the PCR test. I think I got up twice and had a little bite to eat and just slept all day. Like, I wasn't even that sick by that point. I was just, just tired. Um, and I was shitting like a trooper. So, diarrhea, just fucking, just floodgates. My asshole was the floodgates and they were open. Um, so day three, my taste and smell started to disappear. Again, it wasn't bad, but like I could still taste and smell things and I could always could, but that wasn't like I should have been able to. Like I loved my food and I could not taste it properly at all. Um, again, I slept all day and still shitting like a trooper. Um, day four, I started to get energy back. Um, my taste and smell semi-returned, but they were still a bit off. Um, normal sleeping patterns returned. So I just found for the first few days of it, I just couldn't sleep. I'd sleep through the day. I'd have like nap, cat naps, essentially. I'd sleep for... Two hours, wake up for an hour, sleep for two hours, wake up for an hour. Yeah, it was... But anyway, um, that was on day four. Same as on day four, a chest infection started. So I walked into the bathroom, coughed up some green shit and went, oh, I got chest infection. Got onto that fairly quickly. I'm on antibiotics for that now. Um, because, yeah, you don't play around with chest infection. I mean... We catch colds and flus, throw the best of them, but the minute I start coughing up green shit, <coughs> green shit, infection, getting on top of that. Um, day five. Oh, yeah, day four, too. Um, the diarrhea stopped. It stopped randomly. Like, it just, I didn't go to the toilet all day. Like, it wasn't either or. It just, all day, no toilet. Um, and then from day five... Uh, it started again. The diarrhea started again. Um, taste and smell look back a little bit again, but not, we're back a bit stronger, but yeah. Um, so that return, diarrhea returned for a day. Um, day six, um, diarrhea went again. I don't know why, but it disappeared again. Um, Day six, I'm virtually fine. My t smell and taste are still a bit weird. Well, day six, my smell and taste are a little bit weird. Well, they are now on day seven, but by and large, they're okay. Um, and by and large, I'm okay. So day seven, which is today, taste and smell is still not returned. And my chest infection is going, but it's still present. I'm still seeing a little bit of green, same as... Every now and then I'll go and cough up and it'll be a bit bleh, and you don't really want it. But by and large, it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, that's been my seven days so far of COVID experience. Now the rat tests, I just quickly got to say the government, of, they're just, the rat tests are fucking atrocious. Di did three rat tests, negative, negative, negative. She went and did a PCR test, positive. They're just, they don't work. Like, they're crap. Um, but yeah, so that's my COVID experience for you.